wondering how do you feel about uh, so few people being here? No, it was great. It was like you know, it's a it's a Monday night, and like to have the room kind of surrounded like that with that many you know people in a town where I played I played a record store here once. Uh huh. So like yeah, very I, few I people. It was Plattenbau, isn't it? Uh huh. I, I yeah. saw it on, on the internet. Mm -hmm. but, yeah. but you know, uh, little things like that. You you plant the seed and kind of. People get interested in it, and yeah. that's all you can hope for. Is it, so. That's what I was going to ask. So, what's your aim, your intention coming here? Um, is it actually to get well known here? Well, I mean, to at least have fun and make it worthwhile. Yes, for sure. <laughs> so it's both, isn't it? It's, it, it's just um, seeing Europe and. and um, yeah, it's it's that, and it's it's you know the opportunity of you know not a lot of bands have this opportunity to do this, yeah, and um, yeah. we can do it, and you know we meet people that all over the place that know the songs and kind of, you know, have been waiting for it. So that's, that's the greatest honor yeah. of anything. Yes, yeah. for sure. Um, uh, okay, uh, let me think, because um, I'm not really well prepared for this. But, um, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, basically, um, I don't know a lot about you. I, I know Simon loves your music and he knows all the lyrics as well. Uh -huh. I, I don't really, but I realize that politics plays qu kind of an important role in your mm -hmm. lyrics. Yes. Uh, which I always find interesting, and uh, which is why I thought it, it might be good to ask you what you are trying to say in your songs, and what, you know, what, what, how do you uh, involve politics in, in your music? I try to like put it in a way, like in the context of a story. I don't know if that makes sense, but like uh, I, tr I try to like the, the songs are political, but they're also like there's a lot going on with like some characters and. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I don't, I don't want to like shove anything down anyone's throat, but I do want to like make them think better things. So I try to put it in a way that's like, you know, in the, in the context of a song, of a story, in, in the lyrics, something to like subvert people a little bit. And, you know, maybe even people that wouldn't think a certain way, make them, make them kind of question their own beliefs. Okay. So that's, that's really what I'm trying to do. If anything, okay. it might be paused. <laughs> so um, can you give some examples of because unfortunately now I, I don't really well, know what you're, you to to what you're writing about. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it's okay. Go ahead. Yeah, I'll grab my phone. Oh, really? <laughs> but anyway. It's okay. Um, so, so, what are you saying? Like, so, Oh, ch ciao. Take care. Nice to play with you. Safe trip back to Holland. Yeah. Same goes for you to the USA. Yes, indeed. So, bye. See you next time. Bye. Next time. <laughs> Take care, Nick. Okay. Sorry. No problem. Um, um, did, did I hear you sing about Obama in that most recent song you sang? Oh uh, no! Did I, you say Obama that? No, that was just me imagining. It might have been. It might have been a word that sounds like that. But uh, okay. uh, no, it definitely has not been documented in song for me. Yet. Okay. Uh, <coughs> was it? Was it a, a new song? I think you said it was a new song. Yeah. Oh, okay. It was. Uh, mm -hmm. It was probably the song. Dallas and Romania, or Barry Man yeah, Analog. Dallas and Romania. Oh yeah, that's yeah. a brand, that's a brand new one we were messing around with a bit. Uh -huh. um, is that political? Yeah, it's like it, it all is. You know, it, it's yeah, all kind it? of political, uh -huh. but like it's it's not. I, I try to find like an interesting um, little point to base things off of, where it's not just like a straightforward like, you know, like it's fun to like shout and be angry and you know get in people's faces, but I like to kind of subvert things a little bit, you mm -hmm. know, in, in like leaks, uh, lyrically, so, yeah. yeah, so the song like that is about like uh, how in, in Romania during the, uh, during communist rule that the television show Dallas was really popular, apparently. Uh-huh, yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's true, yeah. and I found it like absurd enough to be like, to kind of examine it in a political way, but also a social way, in a way that affects like, you know, your everyday person, mm -hmm. and try to write a song about this because it's like these are the interesting little tidbits in human history that I find really interesting. I see. So, so how do you get ideas for that and how do you, do you uh, what's the word, um, get involved politically in another way than music? You know, do you talk about politics? 
politics a lot um, outside uh, and music and, and then get ideas for songs yeah for sure I mean it's a lot of it comes from like everyday you know it might it might come from every it all comes from everyday experiences like I think that's what it has to come from you know just basic interactions between small groups of people and uh, you know kind of seeing what basing it off that seeing what like the bigger picture is rather than just you know because I, I think this the if any kind of change is going to happen, it's going to happen on a smaller level in communities and smaller towns, and mm -hmm. that's the only evidence I've seen. So, if anything, that's the um, that's what it's all inspired by. Just like, yeah, smaller reactions, the way just the way people talk to each other, the way people involve each other, their mm -hmm. towns, cities, scenes, whatever. Right. Yeah. But so you're not particularly involved in, in politics. You know, it's just like anyone else, uh, seeing the news and then talking to people about it. And yeah, I mean, I, I try to be as much as I can, for sure. I mean, Philadelphia is, you know, there's a lot there's a lot going on. I mean, just as much as any other city. But, um, yeah, I try to do as much as I can, for sure. I mean... Do you support um, political events or, you know... Um, Charity organizations, or uh, by playing there, like yeah, know, all the time. Of, of Anne Di Franco, who, who does that. Um, oh yeah, she's one of my favorites, and yeah, uh, she's the one for me who uh, yeah. about politics. A lot Absolutely, I mean, most of the shows that I'll play in Philadelphia, if if they're close enough, like, um, yeah, I would do them, and they'll be benefit shows. Mm -hmm. I mean, almost all of them. Uh -huh. um, very few are just done just for the hell of it, you know, so, yeah, wh whether it be Food Not Bombs group or, uh, you know, a, a benefit for a legal fund or something, yeah, that's, that's, that's the only other reason to do them, <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. for me, yeah. yeah. Hmm. Okay, so maybe we should uh, just start from the beginning, and could you tell us a little bit about how you started and, and uh, started, the name? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> started with Mischief Brew stuff, well, basically, uh, I was in a punk band for years, and then, like, in the year 2000, I wanted to try to, you know, I, I didn't really want to just join another band. I tried it. It didn't really work. And so I, I had all these songs I started writing on acoustic guitar just because I didn't have anybody else to play with. Mm -hmm. And um, that kind of spiraled into what became the first Mischief Brew demo. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it was um, pretty much like that, you know, just wanting to try something that wasn't just loud, fast, you know, um, straight up angry punk rock just trying to like you know incorporate different instruments that I found interesting and different styles of music I was listening to so that's all there in the beginning and up till now I think by the way you're talking of other instruments I read about that uh, uh, what was it mandolins and mm -hmm. but junk uh, stuff as well junk percussion but yeah I, didn't I think see any, didn't I see any of that today no so, well um, you know we, we can't <laughs> tour with a junk percussionist yet uh -huh. but we've, we've done stuff like that yeah back home uh -huh. um you know, anything's percussion, pots, pans. Oh, cool. We have a top of a lamppost that sounds really cool. Uh -huh, okay. It's pretty neat. <laughs> yeah. And it's all on the records, you know. Uh -huh. So you could have brought at least one or two of them. Yeah, I could have, you know. Because that makes it more well, interesting, you know? Yes, for sure. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, why don't you... Why don't you play a song then for us? Did an you, acoustic version. Yes. Yeah? Did, did you want to hear that song you were, you were talking about? But if you want, to, if you want to throw another song. No, we'll we'll go with that song. Because we were talking Sammy about. Will love it. <laughs> yes. Well, because we were talking about political songs, and this is um, I don't know what the German translation would be an, an off kilter political song. You know, mm -hmm. like uh, I've I've played I've, this song I'm about to play. I've played it for people mm -hmm. that. Uh, are in the military and they they shout yeah at the first line and they don't realize what the song is really saying. So I'll try this one. I, I have played it recently, but it's called Against. Yeah. No more songs against the war. Too many already and I don't want to sing them anymore It's F-U-C-K, one, two, three, four Hey Joe, where can I go with two cents in my hand For billionaires and oil lords These songs for peace How I wish they turn into antiques To never sing against war again Songs for peace How I wish they turn into antiques 
to never sing against war again. How can any of us sleep when slaughter's what it takes to show such strength and human unity to bring us all into the streets? I know I told you that I wouldn't march no more But strange how yesterday repeats these songs for peace How I wish they turn into antiques To never sing against war again Songs for peace How I wish they turn into antiques To never sing against war again being one good little patriots were scared to wonder how their country might be run it's because of all their bombs and guns we got a million songs against the war and i hate every one of them these songs for peace how i wish they turn into antiques to never sing against war again songs for peace to never sing against the war again Liberation by the missiles of democracy 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 Peace Songs for peace How I wish they turn into antiques To never sing against war again There you go <laughs> Yeah That's yeah. To us it's really special Funnily enough, uh, the two of us actually played that song mm. Yeah That's right, you said it. Really? <laughs> so it's very familiar indeed. Um, Did I play it? It's a really cool song. <laughs> yeah, more or less the way we, we do it. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Very good song. Awesome. Um, what else? Well, is there anything you want to let Aachen know, you know, uh, or the world or whatever? <laughs> Aachen, just thank you. I mean, it's, uh, yeah, every time we've been here, it's been really special. Okay. So, okay. I'm mostly on the part of Simon, but everybody here has been really welcoming, and we know we're going to have a fun time. So, okay. always great to be back. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I will come back anytime, as long as we're doing this ridiculous stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I think we, we'll leave it there. Um, Sounds great. Um, let's see, what, what, where do I have to press here?